I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. What we're doing here is we're going to mount this axial flux alternator to this exercise bicycle. We're going to drive it. We got a few parts to make. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. We're taking a regular exercise bicycle. We're going to hook it up to the uh, axial flux by friction. And up here in the front, uh, we drill the hole all the way straight across. And we're going to we'll tack weld the washer when we got all this aligned. We're going to use that on one of the all threads. So basically what we're trying to do, we drilled across here. We're putting a half inch piece of all thread all the way through. We're going to incorporate it into this part here, we're going to go ahead and take this nut off, this nut off, this nut off, and slide this bolt out and slide a new one in that goes longer and connects right over here through this. And the weight of the alternator is going to cause a frictional drive on this. Another thing we got to do is this is kind of loose and we don't want to lose any friction. We're going to put some liquid nail on it and hold this in real good. And we're going to cut a 6 or 8 inch disc. And we're going to put that right across here with a 10 inch piece on each side as a guide to sit there and hold it. So the weight of the alternator is going to give us the friction that we need in order to drive this. We're going to see how many watts we can get out of pedal power. Another thing we're doing here is this wants to move a little bit so Jesse James Beeson is going to put a couple pieces of metal across and keep this from flexing as much. We're going to get some sparkies to watch. As far as that goes right now I think that's about as far as I can go. Ready? Okay, we got the first couple, uh, first piece set in here, and we're going to put a couple tack welds and go straight into welding afterward. Go ahead. And there's the second tack weld. Third tack weld. And the fourth tack weld. Alright, move your clamps, you ought to be good now. Get left. Let's do that. Ready, guys? Yep. Let's get this show on the road. Mmm, sparkly. Looks good. Ready? Uh oh, and the second piece, just gonna be some tack welds across the top. Good enough for what we're doing. This whole front piece doesn't move at all now. I pressed on it pretty hard, cleaned it up. Now we're going to go ahead and run the wire through and we need to tack weld the washer on the side after we get everything adjusted in the line. And we got this, we're going to weld up. I went ahead and tightened it up. We got it adjusted to where I want. What we're going to do is weld that nut itself off. Get one on the bottom side of the wall. More sparklies. A weld right up here. Make sure that pipe didn't flex while we had it tight. That's a prettier bead. Now that's what I like. There you go. Let's splatter. Cool. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. We're looking at an exercise bicycle here. Uh, we got the green machine setting up here. And we're looking at the rubber piece that we're going to try to drive this with. It's got a little notch inside here and a rubber belt on here. 
We're going to have to put some liquid nail in this thing to rectify the problem for those who want to make a pedal generator out of one of these. Go ahead and crank it up there, Boomer. I'll show you what. You see that? As it gets going faster, that stretches out. So that's not really on there tight. It really doesn't have very much. I don't think that's enough friction. So we're going to put some liquid nail down in that crack and uh, shove that tab down in it all the way around let it dry for a little bit. Then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make, uh, gonna make about a 6 inch or an 8 inch disc of wood on here. And as you can see, it's going to line right up with that wheel. We'll tighten that on there. The way we've got this hooked up is one of the bolts that is holding the stator straight through. And I've got a tight against here, but it's not tight against here, and I have a nut welded on this side, so this whole rod will just sit there and turn. So everything's adjusted up, got a nice gap, everything turns real well. When we let this down, the weight of the motor will provide the friction we need. We're going to hook it up and give it some readings, and maybe we'll see how much we can actually get out of it with human power. This is the test run. We're going to give it some boomer power here. <laughs> Seems to track all right. This is the last disc. It wasn't exactly cut center on the one of we when we put the lugs in, but it, it tracks okay. You got a little vibration to it. Good enough for a test. This is six and an eighth inch. Uh, the other the next one down is six inches. The next one down below that's a five. We're going to try power on those. But this was just basically for fun. Notice I don't have any nuts on it. Basically, I had to hammer it on. <laughs> it kind of got tighter as it got down closer, so we figured we didn't have to put any nuts on it. <laughs> I guess I'm recording, I don't know. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. <laughs>